Your back is aching again, and it's really starting to interfere with your life. Low back pain is a top cause of disability worldwide. It's a complicated problem because many different things can cause back pain. One of the many causes, spinal disc herniation, also known as a herniated disc. Let's go back to the building blocks of your spine. Your spine is made of bones called vertebrae. In between each vertebra is a disc, kind of like a shock absorbing cushion. These intravertebral discs, as they're officially called, contain a squishy substance at their center. Think jelly filled donut. The vertebrae and discs are stacked one on top of the other. Sometimes a disc in your spine may bulge out a little beyond that nice stacked line, but this isn't considered a herniation. In fact, a bulging disc is fairly common, even in people without back pain. A true herniation occurs when the boundary of the disc weakens and that jelly-like substance may start to leak out. Sounds painful, right? It definitely can be. Although sometimes it just causes numbness in your arm or leg due to the disc compressing a nearby nerve. So who gets these herniated discs and why? Sometimes it just happens with age. Having poor core strength is another risk factor, but herniated discs usually happen to people who consistently put extra pressure on their spinal column, either from activity or inactivity. People who do heavy labor are at higher risk. But do you know which everyday activity causes the most spinal stress? Sitting. That's right, sitting all day, slouched over your computer is just about the worst thing you can do for your spine health. When you hunch over, you're putting pressure on your intravertebral discs, which can cause them to wear down over time. And this makes it more likely that jelly will seep out of the donut. Oof. Not to mention, when you slouch, you're straining your ligaments, muscles, and joints in your neck, shoulders, and back, which can lead to other types of back pain. But the reality is, many of us need to spend a lot of time each day in front of a computer. And if you're used to sitting all day, it can be hard to change that behavior. So if you're struggling to cut things out of your life that cause back pressure, think creatively. Try a sit-stand desk. Try a setup that allows you to walk or exercise while working. Take frequent breaks to stand up and move around and take a short walk each day. Better yet, try taking meetings on your phone while you walk. And when you do sit, sit with optimal posture. For ideal spine supporting posture, line your ears up with your shoulders and hips. You can tuck your chin back a little bit to bring your head in better alignment with your neck and shoulders. Once you've gotten yourself situated, do your best to relax. The goal is to improve your posture without feeling stiff or forced. If you're currently dealing with a painful disc herniation, you've got options. While surgery may make pain better for some people, it's really only recommended in certain cases. Thankfully, there is a long list of non-surgical treatments that are effective, including physical therapy, chiropractic therapy, spinal injections, acupuncture, medications, massage, meditation, and gentler exercises like yoga, Pilates, or Tai Chi. All of these strategies can help reduce or even get rid of your back pain. Talk with your doctor to figure out which methods are best for you.